2013 marked the end of the fifth year in which I've tried to kill off the PDF. Um, it's not that I have anything in particular against the file format. Rather, it's that I think of PDF as shorthand for thinks in terms of printed documents. I, it's the belief that real research is expressed in sentences on pieces of paper with a few charts thrown in for good measure. It's a world in which designer means the person who typesets the report and picks out the photo for its cover, and digital media director means person who turns the PDF into HTML. In short, it's a mindset that was cutting edge right around the time that DeLoreans had flux capacitors, cops wore pastel linen suits, and Lady Gaga was still known as Madonna. <laughs> we haven't quite killed the PDF at the Century Foundation, but we at least put it on life support. So in early March, we published our first ever multimedia digital report. We weren't the first to get there. The Brookings Institution and the Urban Institute are way out ahead of the pack here. But we're pretty proud of the fact that our five-person team at our very small think tank is somewhere out on the front edge of this particular trend. Um, so today I'd like to talk to you just a bit about how we pulled that off. So I should note at the outset that the biggest key to our success happened months before we actually started the project. Uh, there's absolutely no substitute for talent, and my team here at TCF is pretty extraordinary. Uh, in an ideal world, you'd be hearing about this project from Jesse Stafford, Chris Gosling, Abby Grimshaw, and Lucy Mirahead rather than me. And they are, after all, the ones who did all the work. Um, but in the world we actually live in, bosses get to brag about the great work their team does, so you're stuck with me. Um, so there's a post up on the WonkComs blog that gives a kind of more detailed walk through the process we went through in building our piece than I'll be able to give here. Um, and rather than repeating what you've probably already read, um, I'd like to focus on really our big takeaway, which is that to produce this sort of multimedia report, everything really has to happen at once. So that's probably a bit overstated, but really only a little bit. So just to back up a bit, our, uh, kind of traditionally our process here at TCF had always been kind of step by step. So a researcher writes the text, an editor edits the text, uh, our, we review the text for online scannability and to optimize for search. We turn the uh, um, what are often a bunch of sort of boring Excel charts into more interesting data visualizations. We edit um, images to accompany the report. We typeset the PDF version. Um, we may build some responsive, interactive versions of charts for the uh, for the website. Um, we add the HTML version to the web, upload a PDF, we publish, um, and then we uh, go out and find some journalists to uh, to write about our report. So we try this sort of a similar process with, uh, with our with finding a home, um, but it turned out not really to work very well. Um, so it, as it happens when, you, uh, um, when you're using a video or a graphic to tell part of the story, it's really hard to write the story without knowing what's already in the graphic. And it's hard to know how to stage video without knowing the overall tone of the piece. You can't really start coding a site without knowing at least something about the pieces that will be in place or the overall design of the site, but it's hard to design without knowing the limitations of the CMS. Plus, these pieces need to be pitched really early, which is hard to do if you don't already know everything that's inside the, uh, inside the piece. So like I said, we, uh, we kind of discovered all of this the hard way. Um, so we pretty regularly wrecked Jesse's project schedule and really not a few of her weekends um, Chris, I think, stopped sleeping for a week. Um, Abby, who is, uh, in addition to being our, our fantastic graphic designer, is also uh, um, a boxer on the side, I think took a few extra trips to the gym to punch things that weren't me. Um, and Lucy swore a lot, even by her usual Australian standard. Um, and as for me, some of my former colleagues recently commented on how gray my hair has gotten in just the past few months. Um, so in our debriefing session after the piece was put together, we decided to uh, um, apply the agency model we adopted for our, um, for our next project. So 
<clears throat> Jesse and Abby put together a, a really lovely flowchart. So if you're following along on the Rowantcoms hashtag, and if you're not, you really should be. Um, Jesse's tweeting out the image now. Um, but the, uh, really the most crucial part of the new process is the, uh, um, the bit where we develop and pitch the creative concept very early in the process. So knowing the broad shape of the visual design and the general tone of the piece allows the writing, the photo and video editing, the more detailed design work, and the coding to proceed in tandem rather than, uh, um, than sequentially. So, um, and then frequent rounds of internal check-ins allow for adjustments to each part to, uh, um, to kind of keep the whole piece consistent. Um, so I know I've uh, pretty much used up my, uh, my allotted time, so I'm going to close with both a caution and an encouragement, and I think it echoes something that everyone else in the panel has said. Um, the only real way for your team to figure out how to do something like this is just dive in and do it. Um, the good news, though, is that I, you know, it's, I think our team has shown it doesn't take a, uh, a particularly large team or a lot of money to really be able to, uh, to make the whole thing work. So, thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Joe. Um, we're running a little bit over, so I was, if any, if, does anyone have any burning questions for this panel? Because if so, ask them now. Um, if not, I suggest that we bring the panel back up after the next one and then we do our question and answer session afterwards. But if anyone has anything that they particularly want to ask now, do speak now. Okay, in that case, let's shuffle around and get the next panel up. Thanks. <laughs>